Welcome back to my channel, guys. We are in Miami, and I gotta say, it is unseasonably cold out here. It is freezing. It is so cold here that I'm in a winter jacket. This is unbelievable. Anyway, I am so shocked that it's two years into this pandemic, and my, uh, Miami is super masked up. It's crazy how many people down here wear masks. You would think like the pandemic just started. It's nuts. So if you want to not wear a mask, don't come to Miami because this place is not based at all. Unbelievable. Anyway, guys, check it out. We are, we're here because we're going to a uh, Project Veritas James O'Keefe event at uh, Fountain Blue, or as they say, Fountain Bleu. And uh, they got uh, one of the uh, trendiest nightclubs here called Live. And uh, we're gonna go there right now and hopefully meet some thought leaders, right-wing thought leaders. I'll be having some drinks. Tara and Grayson are doing Sober January, so they're kind of boring right now but I'll be drinking enough for all of us. So I'm gonna vlog. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, click, comment, share. And uh, thanks as always for being part of my channel. Let's go Brandon. So this trip to Miami, we are staying at the James Hotel. And one of the best parts about this place is it comes with free parking. When we made the booking, it said free parking. I was like, there's no way. Cause Miami, it is notorious here. Parking is like impossible. And it's very expensive here. Let me tell you a quick story. One time I parked in a garage. It was like $20, huge sign. So I said, 20 bucks overnight, I'm in. I had to read the fine print, $5 per hour after the first four. So when I came back the next day to pay my bill, I got hit with an $80 freaking parking ticket. It was crazy, so stupid. So anyway, this hotel, the greatest part so far is the free parking. But also the room, very nice, very modern and updated, which I respect. But I will say, this, uh, this lobby here, as you can see behind me, is quite art deco, <laughs> a little outdated, but very eclectic and uh, definitely feels like old school Miami. So if you guys are looking for a place to stay, we got a great price online. I think we used a hot wire. So that's my tip for you guys. Let's go to the event. Are we live yet? Yeah, we're live. So where, where, are, you, where are you visiting from? I am actually from Miami. Oh, so you just like took a quick drive to get here? Yes, well technically I'm living in Fort Lauderdale, but I just oh, slowed down. Nice, so I used to live in Fort Lauderdale too. Oh. Best taco place in Fort Lauderdale, what do you think? Oh, uh, I haven't done always a bodega because a lot of taco people craft. like bodega. Taco oh, okay. I actually haven't been. You gotta go, it's amazing. Every Tuesday they have taco specials. I'm, I'm you reading your hat. Are you a Trump girl too? Um, I wasn't, but 2020 pushed me back to the right. So you're a Trump girl now? I guess so. So 2024 you're voting for Trump? I'm very much a DeSantis girl, let's say that. Let, I love let, DeSantis let's go back to Trump. the way that people love Trump. All right, God, God bless Trump. <laughs> God bless Trump, definitely. God, God bless DeSantis? I was, I was wrong at one point. Definitely God bless DeSantis. Yeah, I called DeSantis my daddy. <laughs> daddy DeSantis. Yeah, and the I Trump's am from my, Miami, so And the yes. Trump's my granddaddy. He's my, I'm a Trump sexual, though, you know? What's your name? Do you have social media? My name's actually Karen, which is funny right now. Okay, my name's Brandon, which is actually Hi, also... Brandon. I'm kidding, my name's not Brandon. You want to shout your name out? You like your socials or something? Um, at carechris, K-A-R-E-K-R-I-S. And I post a lot of stuff... Even though I don't put it on my feed, I post it on my stories. Awesome. I'm a little inflammatory, but with purpose. Oh, that's the way to be, though. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Chica Guapa. Not Brandon. Not Brandon. No, my name's Adam. My name's Adam. Yeah, nice yeah. to meet you. But you are Chica Guapa. Oh, we took it out. Okay, there you go. All right, guys. So we are about to walk into the uh, to the event, and uh, we're excited to be here. We made it, and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like as we come in. God bless Project Veritas. God bless Trump. God bless freedom. Oh, here's Jorge Ventura. Yeah, she just wants to go. Yo. No, I'm here with just as, just as I was with uh, Jorge saying there's no Latinos here, we got another one. Latino for Trump. No, That's three of us, three of us, three of us. Sorry. How you doing, bro? I almost bro? forgot you were a Latino. That's right. I know, I know, I know. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. It's good to see you. It's an honorary Latino. Honorary. This is a nice event, man. I know. It's your company it's now. It's extravagant, right? Yeah, good job. I mean, wait until you see James O'Keefe doing the most. It's going to be Oh, man, I can't wait. Sick. Yeah, yeah. You got a good seat? I don't know, we just kind of, uh, you know, just, we just showed up, and now right. we're here. We'll mingle for a while, because it's not going to start for a while. All right, bro, thank right. you. What America brings you? America first. What brings you to this Army. event? Oh, Project Veritas, we love James O'Keefe. He does a lot of great un investigative reporting, undercover stuff. He's uh, exposed Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, recently. Always important to be supporting the independent journalists, and if it wasn't for Project Veritas, uh, the public would be really at a disservice. Well done, guys. Great to see you here. What are the odds? What are the odds? What brings you to the Project Veritas event? Well, I just appreciate um, James for exposing 
you know, corrupt media and really bringing the truth to the people. Mm. And how do you feel about Joe Biden and Russia right now? Oh what are your God. thoughts? Unbelievable. This guy is not allowed to make any, any, anything, you know, regarding these questions. He's incapable of. That's right. I heard Joe Biden called Russia Mother Russia. He is dealing with what I believe he thinks is the most tragic thing that's happened to Mother Russia. I didn't hear do that. Russians call Russia Mother Russia? Yeah, absolutely. You do? Yeah, but we allowed to call it Mother Russia. How do you say it? Mother Russia. Mother Russia. <laughs> that sounds a lot nicer than you say it. We're here at the Project Veritas event supporting James O'Keefe. This guy is an absolute legend. Thank you, sir. And we are drinking some Prosecco. Cheers to freedom. Cheers to James O'Keefe. Cheers to Trump. Cheers to DeSantis. And uh, cheers to natural immunity. God bless. God, God bless Trump. God bless him. All right, James O'Keefe party. Now we're getting lit. That's Nostrovia. right. Cheers. 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 Nostrovia to our Russian friends. Nostrovia. Nostrovia. So we got the first Fauci fraud hat spotted out here. What is the meaning behind your hat? Uh, it's very simple. It is what it is. He is a fraud. Um, the documents have come out. Um, there's nothing more to say. Just yeah, Fauci's got to go. How's that? He, he really does need to go. God bless you. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. Pants on fire, baby. Make America swole again. Yeah. I love that. What brings you here to the event? Well, I've been following Project Veritas for quite a while, and I'm just really impressed with their work as far as going against the grain and just exposing a lot of the corruption and, and involved with the government overall. It's not really just purely based on a, on a pure partisan basis, but overall corruption, and we need more people. It's a real classic version of journalism, rather than this whole opinion-based garbage that we see on Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, where they really don't validate any of their points with any actual evidence. Veritas is the exact opposite, where they substantiate their points with evidence. Well said, man. Thank you for being Thank here. You. So, we got the uh, lobster rolls out here. God bless. God bless finger food. Thank you, James O'Keefe, for feeding me. Thank you. What are your thoughts on I censorship? I don't know that I should publicly say that. Um, well, one of my biggest passions is freedom, especially freedom of speech. So, I think it's interesting how we've criticized other countries and felt bad for them because of the fact that they don't have access to real media or even movies or, or news. Everything that they're fed is censored and filtered. And now, the, you know, the freest quote unquote country, or at least what seems to be like, has always been the beacon of hope in the world, is sitting there and doing that to their own citizens. So it's actually insanity and it's maddening when you actually care about the Constitution and the America, what, what is considered to be American values, to see that that's happening to our own people, and especially with the, you know, justification of we need to protect you because of misinformation, yep. it completely gets rid of the whole idea of freedom, where I will defend your freedom even to think idiotic thoughts or speak idiotic things, even though I won't ever agree with your ignorance, I am going to defend it to the end because you have the right to remain ignorant and passionate about whatever ignorant things that you value. So, That's right. And that is the beauty of America, but it's very ass backwards, and I just, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just un-American. Well said. All right, my fellow Jew here has got the Trump yarmulke on. That's right. Hey, Sam. So it's called a keeper also. The Trump re-election campaign slogan is Keep America Great, so it says Trump, keep up, America Great. That's amazing. <laughs> nice to meet you, bro. Thank Cheers. Thank you, likewise. Oh, my God. Cheers. Lakayim. Lakayim. All right, guys, I'm here with Kang Min Lee. Yes, sir. Did I say it correctly? Yes, sir. Nailed it. So what brings you to the event? Uh, free food, free drinks. That's the best answer in the world. <laughs> God bless. Yes, sir. I'm Korean, man. We party hard. Annyeonghaseyo, musuwa, kenchana. I'm just kidding. I don't get, actually, I've never gotten drunk before, but. Really? Yeah. Because you're a man of Jesus. Yes, I'm a man yeah, yeah. of God. I love the Lord. I'm, I've made a lot of mistakes in the past, but one thing I proudly have not done is get drunk. Never got drunk before. Never. So you never blacked out before? Never. Wow, good for you. You're a good man. Thank you. Keep killing on social media, man. We love seeing your stuff. We got Tara LaCroix. 
Hit me with something. We're out here at the Project Veritas party in Miami, but right now there are tens of thousands of truckers up in Canada driving for their freedom. So I want to say this. I'm a Vax Rebel. Can't say I'm looking for trouble. Yeah, uh, you can't handle when I step up to the mantle. Yeah. Vax Rebel. These sheep it is up for the heat. See them shaking when I'm up on the beat. They can't handle the words that I speak. That's fucking so bad. That's, That's awesome, man. Thank you. How do you feel about the show? It felt like a fantastic Broadway production. Well said. Wow, that was a long interpretive dance, but it was still pretty epic. I've never seen interpretive dance of the FBI arresting people, interpretive dance of CNN to lying about people, interpretive dance of James O'Keefe presenting his under, investi undercover investigative journalism. It was epic. It was epic. The theme here is interpretive dance. Actually, I thought it was quite lovely. It was really good. Yeah, it was actually really good. I am pumped. I am ready to get over there with Ricky Rebel, drop some of my dance moves. I think James O'Keefe is a fantastic dancer. Surprising but true. He actually is a good dancer. That's true. Oh. So actually, the first time I met James O'Keefe was at the Breakers Hotel during the um, Horowitz Freedom Foundation. They had an award ceremony. And that's the first time I even heard his story. So James O'Keefe's story, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. It reminds me very much of my own father's story. Of, like coming to America, there's a, you know, the, the story of immigrants and having to rise above having houses burned down and then rise above again. So to see that set to interpret a dance, I thought it was fantastic. It was nice. Well said, well said. Beautiful hair. Thank you. What are you doing at the event? Uh, I don't know. I'm an anarchist. <laughs> You're an anarchist? That's yeah. cool. Where are you from? Uh, from here. Nice. You want to shout out your socials? Sure. It's at Chango, C-H-J-A-N-G-O. I'm in crypto. He built a coin. We're shilling Handshake. Follow Handshake. It's the next decentralized currency that's going to change the world. I can the Federal Reserve. That's what we're here to do. And censorship. Well said. Nice to meet you. This guy right here is just, is just constantly eating the food. Yeah, I'm just here for the food, man. Are you just hungry? I'm, I'm starving. All right, we're here with my Korean brother, Asian Lives Matter. What brings you to the Project Veritas event? Um, just to see the talent and hear more of James' story behind the American Nutbreaker and awesome. um, just meet new people. Are you a content creator? Uh, no, actually. You're not? I'm Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, welcome to the event. Thank you. Nice to be, thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you. Do you want to call your socials so that one day maybe... Oh, um, I'm Allie Bella, A-L-L-I-E-B-E-L-L-A. -L -L -E -E -L -L -A. Um, awesome. I go on deep dives on communism and feminism and... Are you pro or anti-feminism? Anti. Uh, we all need to come back to our original feminality, embrace that, embrace our God-given gender roles, masculine, feminine, and it's a beautiful thing. That's right. Yes. You should be on my podcast. Sure. Uh, Hi. Let's talk about your eyes. Okay. Oh, so they are gorgeous. I put rhinestones. Really What's going on here? <laughs> I put rhinestones on them. <laughs> oh, girl, you killed What was it. What was the inspiration behind the rhinestones? I just felt it. I just felt it. I wanted the vibe. It was sparkly and it was cool. And I'm like, I want to put rhinestones on my eyes. I know. And is is the red dress for Trump? Is that a MAGA red? Yes, it is. And it's. It's That's right. <laughs> Where are you I'm from? Like, I'm from Chicago. And you flew down here for the Project Veritas? I did. What a you... bunch of my friends were dancing in it, so I couldn't miss it. How do you think that? How, how was the event for you? Amazing. It was amazing. They are always incredible, and I love them so much. And they're changing the world, and I'm here to support. Do you want to shout out your socials? My social media is Lexi Lock at Lexi Lock L E X I I L A C H. Awesome. Great to meet you. Good to meet you too. <laughs> God, God, God bless Trump. Yes. Where are you is this from? Cloud? You said this is rain. That's cloud. This is cloud. Yeah. We're from Boston, Massachusetts, where they're having a blizzard right now. So this is a lot warmer for you. It, ish. I was expecting like really warm. Yeah, it's cold as hell down here. But it's cold, so we escape cold for a less cold. Right. It's bullshit. It is. I know. <laughs> so what brings you down to uh, Miami? My husband is a co-founder of GiveSendGo.com. So oh, cool. the alternative, the freedom alternative to GoFundMe. 
Oh, so they don't censor like right wing. We don't censor. No, we stand for freedom. The freedom of speech. Because GoFundMe throws off right wing. Uh, they do. They censor right and left. And so my husband and his sister's company stand for freedom. To beautiful. Raise friends. We actually stand for you are free until proven guilty in a court of law and not a social Hell yeah. Law Hell yeah. System. Yes. Thank yeah. you so much for what you guys do. All right, guys. I'm here with uh, DC Patriot. Is that right? Yeah. Mindy, nice to meet you. How's life going? You know, uh, I prefer my country more free, but here we are. No, it's pretty shitty, right? Uh, yeah. What part of the U.S. are you from? What part of what? U.S. Well, I'm from New England, but I live in Nevada. Oh, cool. Awesome. Well, great to meet you. Thank you. God bless freedom. Let's try to get it back. And I like your puppy. Hey, Vita. Oh, it's a Cuban jacket. Yo, that's dope. That is cool. Did you make your jacket? I did not. Where'd you get it? My assistant made it. Beautiful. Thank and where, where are you from? I'm from Miami, but I'm Cuban too. Makes sense, makes sense. And what are you doing at the event tonight? Just came to check it out. And why do you have an assistant? Are you famous? I am not famous, but I am running for commissioner in Miami Dade. Oh, so you are kind of famous. <laughs> not, no, no, not famous. All right, real quick, what's your platform? Um, more freedom. Is that as quick as I can make it? Yeah, well done. Less corruption. I'm sold. I'll, vote, I, I'll vote for you. You know? How do we find you on the internet? I am on everything as Bueno for Miami. What is it? Bueno, bueno. for Miami. Good for Miami. Yeah. That's a good My name. My last name is Bueno. Wait, for real? For real. That's like, that's a layup. <laughs> that's a layup? Like it's, a, it's like it's like a great name for politics. Great. Sweet. Wow, her last name really is Bueno. Yeah, I was born with that name. That's so cool. And as we say in Mexico, Chica Guapa. Ay, gracias. Yeah, nice gracias, to meet you. Gracias, gracias. Igualmente.